Is Rigby Lake clean? That was a question <laughs> asked this week. I mean, you ever swam in Rigby Lake? I hope it is because I have and I like it. I, okay. think it's, I think it's a cute little lake. Any adverse effects? None that I noticed, but I, it was also a long time ago. I think it was like right, right out of high school. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sometime in the 90s. Yeah. I swam in there. Uh-huh. Well, that was a question that somebody asked, and all sorts, like 250 comments. Mm -hmm. Rigby Lake, a.k.a. Jefferson Lake, mm -hmm. a.k.a. AIDS Lake, <laughs> somebody oh, said. Oh, no. <laughs> but no, there are plenty of locals saying, oh, just enjoy it. It's beautiful. It's just a beautiful place. Just go. I don't think that's the right answer. But I do think the right answer was one that I saw several times, which was, I've been going for years and I'm fine. Right. But a lot of people talking about unspeakable personal hygiene products oh. around the lake, um, I guess leeches, and a lot of people talking about swimmer's itch, oh. which is a particular parasite or whatever. Oh, yuck. Anyway, some dude posted a link to the DEQ, which I believe is the Department of Environmental Quality. I looked it up and found nothing. <laughs> not absolutely nothing. So thanks for that useless rabbit hole. Oh. But I did see, as I was looking at it, I did see that it feeds from something called the Great Feeder Canal. Oh. Which of course comes right off the Snake River. Uh-huh. And I guess the I would assume the Great Feeder Canal feeds mm -hmm. other canals. One would assume. One would assume. Yeah, but it just sort of diverts a little bit of water, mm -hmm. fills up the lake. I don't know. They hmm. open a gate or whatever. A little dam? Yeah. But I... When it's used for water, it's called a dam, kids. <laughs> I know back when I drank hose water, <laughs> right. I visited Rigby Lake a couple times, didn't have any issues. Right. But yeah, it was a really mixed response. So we would love to hear your feedback and see huh. your comments. Any problems with Rigby Lake? Now, by personal hygiene products scattered around it, are we talking... Diapers, needles, douches, or condoms? Uh, and feminine hygiene products. Oh, tampons yeah. and pads? So I think all of the above. Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, people are horrible. Yeah, people, people are, are horrible, gross, disgusting, dude. terrible, no good. Yeah, I mean, at I'm least kidding. bury it like a cat, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe they did. <laughs> I suppose maybe. But I don't think, like, um, there's any annual, like, cleanup in terms of bacteria, right? They... They no, open the not. gate, they fill it up, they close the gate, they let it sit for the summer. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me yeah, anyway. I mean, I, I'm assuming it sort of has its own natural biome. Yes. You know? Right. <laughs> Which that's could been be there a good thing or a bad thing. I don't hundreds know. Hundreds of years. <laughs> I mean, I... An old evil has unleashed. <laughs> yeah. If Swimmer's I'm... <laughs> itch three. If I'm going to go to a lake, it's usually going to be like Blacktail, maybe the Rexburg Lake. That one's kind of cute. And that a lot of people, uh, probably a third of the people suggested other alternatives yeah. too. And so just out of curiosity, I was like, well, wait a minute. What about Jensen's Lake in Blackfoot? The one you see right off of I-15? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is just right off the Snake River. Oh, okay. Nice. Um, in that there's no canal middleman. Right. And apparently, by the way, it's Jensen's Lake and mm -hmm. Jensen Grove. Oh. That's the park area around the lake. Okay, fair enough. But the one thing I noticed that's different in Blackfoot is the lake fills directly from the Snake River, you know, at the north end. Mm -hmm. And then at the southern end, there's also an outlet. So I believe it's oh. true that a few times during the summer, mm -hmm. they kind of let some water out and bring some fresh water in. Oh, that's nice. So that's the difference, I think. And I think mm -hmm. Jensen's Lake is deeper than Rigby Lake, isn't it? That would make sense. I think so. Yeah. When you drive by Rigby Lake in the winter, it's it looks like it's only 20 feet deep, it's if like that. It's like a puddle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, jury's out, but um, go have your summer fun wherever you can, because we've got this string of 90-plus degree days. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. But I read this other article, too, that said 73.3% of Idaho lakes are too polluted to swim in. Yeah. That's awful. Is that sad or what? That's really sad. It's really sad. And it's well, not- especially because I feel like a lot of our nature is so well preserved. It's sort of shocking. That's what I would think too. Yeah. But there's like fertilizer runoff from golf courses. Right. And all sorts of other factors that I don't remember now. You know what? That's the thing. Golf courses are way too manicured. Yeah. It makes the game too easy. 
I'm not a golf enthusiast, so yeah, me either. I actually, I've literally said to you, you know what? I think I'd like to try golf before. Yes, you have. But that's the thing. I almost feel like we should very specifically not maintain golf greens and instead let them get a little wily mm-hmm. to make the game a little harder. Like they did back in the day in Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, dude, like we're, we're playing the like prissy version of golf, you know? <laughs> Like, let's toughen up a little. Let's make the game hard. I think by now we've sort of standardized (laughs) it, and it would be tough to go back. It would be. And let's. Let's anyway. The world is chaos. Let's make everything chaos. Crazy lady coming through. (laughs) Plus, it would probably help some women get their husbands back, too. So there's another nice advantage to it. (laughs) 